Hello everyone and welcome to the third sessions of this quality control and improvement using Minitab. Last session what we have done is that uh, we have discussed about uh, voice of the customer and also uh, how voice of the customer is related to uh, technical specifications of CTQ, how we can convert the voice into uh, technical specifications of CTQ and we have also discussed about uh, how the voice of the customer uh, uh, can be stratified using a Cano model. Uh, and uh, stratification and prioritization of the uh, uh, voice of the customer that we have discussed like that. So, uh, today what we will do is that we will try to discuss about quality function deployment or which is known as house of the quality that uh, relates between uh, uh, voice of the customer and uh, CTQ that will link between voice of the customer and critical to quality characteristics like that. So, how it is done we will try to uh, 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 try to give an example out of that. So, let us start our discussion from there and uh, uh, so this is session 3, this is session 3 what we will uh, do. So, this is uh, session 3, so voice of the customer over here. So, uh, quality function deployment basically which is known as house of the quality, what does it consist of basically? So, you will find that on, on one of the box over here, you will find that the voice of the customer. So, there will be voice of the customer one like this, there can be n number of voices over here and uh, the CTQ will be written, the CTQ dimensions will be written over here, 1, 2. So, this will be done by the engineers and they understand that if these voices has to be translated in the products in that case, what is the characteristic that has to come out of the products basically that will basically link the uh, uh, link to the voice of the customer basically. So, uh, voice of the customer n number of voices will be addressed by m number of CTQs let us let us try to uh, think about that scenario ok. So, uh, this two box will show you the CTQ and this box will show you the VOC and uh, the correlation between VOC and CTQs will be shown in this box what you see over here. So, they can have strong relationship one voice can be addressed by CTQ, but relationship can be strong or weak like that or medium relationship can exist over here and uh, uh, this will be shown in this uh, matrix over here and relationship between the CTQs that how CTQ 1 uh, and 2 are related like that. Uh, this uh, relationship will be shown on the top of the mat top, top of this uh, house of quality and this is known as roof of quality we can think of. So, what you will see is that there will be a roof of the matrix which will show the correlation between the CDQs also ok. So, how CDQ 1 is related with 2 like that ok and then uh, you will find that uh, each voice of the customer will be evaluated by the uh, customers and the average rating will be shown over here. So, if our company is X and other company is A or B like that, so where we stand in a scale of 1 to 5 like that. So, average rating may be uh, for a particular specific voice over here can be we are rated as 1 as the lowest rating over here and they are given a high rating over here. So, then then this is a concern for us. So, uh, the way we are addressing the voice may not be sufficient and we need to uh, improve our ratings and in that case we have to follow what A and B is doing basically ok. So, we have to improve that one in whatever way that is that is uh, possible. So, ok. So, uh, similarly, so this will be done by the competitor each voice will be uh, survey will be done and each of the voice where we stand as compared to a competitor that will be evaluated in case it is a existing product that we are trying to launch over here and we are trying to improve on that. So, quality function deployment can be done at design stage also can be done at various stages like that. So, uh, even after implementation QFD can be done because every time CTQs are keeping on changing because the voice of the customers are. So, this is the dynamic one. So, voice changes, CTQ changes and uh, we may have to replace some CTQs uh, because voice has changed. So, in that case we need to continuously improve on that and then competitive evaluation also changes with time. So, in this case also and the CTQs also will be evaluated based on the engineers will give you inputs over here. So, in that case uh, if we if we have defined a uh, values over here for, for any of the dimensional CTQs. So, which will have specifications like that and uh, uh, and in that case engineer will say that our specification uh, how it is performing as compared to the other competitor specifications like that. So, this is the technical input that we will get uh, from the engineers or uh, process experts or anybody who is uh, product experts like that. So, in that case expert opinion will be taken over here. So, in this case what we will what we will uh, what we can see in this in, in this box is that technical evaluation on, on every CTQ. So, all, all the CTQs uh, 
uh, and what is the evaluation in a scale of 1 to 5 again ok. So, where we stand as compared to the uh, CDQ that that is provided by the competitor. So, this this information will be used uh, maybe in reverse engineering when we are doing reverse engineering this information will be useful over here. So, uh, voice of the customer will be translated into um, uh, CDQs, CDQ dimensions over here ok. So, uh, now, uh, let us take an example to understand this one what what is happening over here. So, in this case what what we have taken over here is the card door design example over here. So, one of the examples uh, from book we have taken like that. So, uh, what what we are trying to what we are trying to uh, show over here is that this is the roof of the matrix what you see uh, roof of the house of the quality over here. So, this is the box where voice of the customers are noted down over here and uh, this is the CTQ uh, box that you are seeing over here and uh, this is the competitor evaluation box that you are seeing over here and uh, this is the correlation uh, uh, box that you see over here evaluation of VOC and CTQs like that. And uh, here uh, we will have targets for each of the CTQs like that target values we will uh, target values will be set over here uh, will be shown over here and the technical evaluation will be uh, in this box. So, where we stand as compared to our uh, as uh, in the CTQs basically. So, this uh, matrix will say in, in terms of voice of the customer where we stand this uh, mat uh, this below uh, box will say that uh, CTQ stands with respect to competitor where we stand basically. And this correlation matrix what we will show is that relationship between any voice voice of the customer 1 let us say and CTQ 1 let us say over here. So, uh, here one of the voice that is shown over here is easy to close. So, card door design uh, so, uh, customer wants that it should be very easy to close like that. So, then uh, uh, technical uh, engineers like that. So, they, they have defined that easy to close is highly related with energy needed to close the door basically. And also door seal resistance is another parameter which also influences or that is the another CTQ which influences uh, how much easy it is to close the door like that ok. So, these are the CTQ, CTQ 1 and CTQ 2 we can think of. Uh, so, uh, these are the two CTQs what we can think of over here energy needed to close the door and door seal uh, resistance basically ok. So, energy needed uh, easy to close is highly related with energy needed to close the door. So, that is why this symbol is used delta and this delta is equals to strong relationship is rated as 9 over here ok. So, we are giving some numbers over here this is arbitrary over here. So, any company organization to organization this can differ. So, what we are trying to say is that uh, what is the interrelationship or correlation between voice and CTQs like that. So, this is shown over here as they have a strong relationship between. So, energy needed uh, is highly related with easy to close like that. So, similarly easy to close is highly is mediumly related over here this is based on previous evidence or technical. Uh, literature or something like that they knows that if door seal resistance is high and in that case what will happen it is very easy to close like that ok. So, uh, they have a uh, but uh, they are saying that this is not very strong relationship, but energy needed is highly related with voice of the customer one. So, uh, voice voice of the customer that is uh, first voice of the customer we can think of ok. So, this is based on experience based on feedbacks based on expert opinion based on literature like that. So, we will be able to know what is what is a strong relationship which is having strong relationship which is having a weak relationship over here ok. And then they can be uh, given a scale like 9, 3 uh, medium relationship is given a scale of 3 and this is 1 equals to number is given as 1 like that if the relationship is not so strong like that ok. So, uh, it can be positive or negative any di any direction of relationship we can think of ok. So, uh, then energy needed to close the door and door seal resistance you see on the top also there is a matrix which shows the relationship between these two. So, CTQ 1 how CTQ 1 uh, is related with uh, how it is related to CTQ uh, 2 over here. So, how they are interrelated basically that will be shown over here. Let us say the symbol that they are using over here is cross that means they have a negative relationship. Negative relationship means one uh, if you try to improve one the other one will deteriorate like that. So, in that case they have a correlation within the CTQs like that. So, energy needed to close the door and door seal resistance. So, you see if door seal resistance is high and then in that case energy needed to close the door will be uh, will be small ok. So, there is a negative relationship that means uh, one in uh, if one increases other will decrease basically ok. So, uh, that is uh, CTQ relationship between them that will be shown in the roof of roof of the uh, this matrix what are you seeing the uh, or uh, roof of the house you can think of. So, all this uh, will be defined by the uh, 
quality personnel or production personnel or the experts opinions that will say based on evidence what we have literature or other references we can we can also relate ctq how they are interrelated like that so we can just uh, have a picture of that means uh, idea about that one okay so voice of the customer uh, any voice of the customer will be related with any of the ctqs over here okay if the voice of the customer is uh, not addressed by any of the ctq that means we are missing something in the design basically okay and uh, or maybe this voice of the customer is not relevant so much relevant because we are not interested in this voice of the customer uh, while we are designing this one so every ctq is important and it is addressing a voice if ctq fails then uh, customers will be dissatisfied because it will impact their voice of the customer and it will impact the customer's opinion or feedback about the uh, quality of the products basically okay so uh, this uh, voice of the customer will be related like that way and uh, this matrix what you see technical evaluation over here uh, where we stand where b and a stands as compared to our product which is x maybe so we are x company similarly competitors evaluation which will be done by customers uh, so in this case what will happen is that customer will evaluate this one and maybe we are standing so this will be in a rating of 1 to 5 that you are seeing over here and maybe we are standing at 1 near to 1 and a and b is standing near to 4 and 5 like that so they, they are getting highest rating as compared to our uh, our products in this case uh, for specific voice number one over here so where we stand is also important as compared to our competitor and that will uh, basically dictate that what changes are required so if i have to address this one then i have to go back which is the ctq is addressing this voice and then compare the ctqs with the competitor ctqs like that and what is their target value which is known as reverse engineering so that we can also do something on this so that our technical feedback is also saying that we are lying at the lower level over here so we need to improve to a and b so uh, maybe our specification should be uh, closely uh, following the specification what is given by a and b like that and let's try out that one and experiments and find out what what is going wrong basically okay any company does this reverse engineering you go to any companies they will have they will do reverse engineering and uh, uh, they have ideas of the uh, competitor products also so uh, so that is also uh, reflected over here uh, so in this matrix over here so this matrix how it helps basically so i want to voice is prioritized over here so then you will see an importance uh, matrix importance to customer over here so there will be some rating that is given over here so, 7 5 3 uh, 3 2 like this so, this is a uh, rating that is given over here so this importance rating uh, may be based on customer feedback they will they will get some customer feedback over here and average customer feedback will be noted down over here it may not be integer over here it can be any numbers like that so in a scale of uh, let us say 1 to 10 which is most uh, so uh, some numbers can be given over here uh, importance importance number for every voc is like that so this uh, input will be taken from the uh, from the uh, customer and also we have a cano model which will also uh, which also says which uh, voice falling in what, what category maybe this is attractive features or this is must be category so uh, we can also differentiate one dimensional category like that so this can be uh, hypothetically uh, this is a hypothetical one i, I am just uh, arbitrarily mentioning this one but you can think about this and which will fall in what categories like that and it will be shown by cano model when they are doing surveys they will figure out which is uh, following a uh, uh, which which strata that means uh, which which category basically so in that case that is also possible so uh, cano model will also say so if it is attractive features maybe uh, we can give a also a score to this and uh, we can also give a score to this and we can uh, we can give a score to this and must be components can be given a score of one so four to one scale uh, we can use for this attractive must be and this is also uh, one weightage we can think of over here and uh, also we can ask the customer to give the rating like that so this is given by the customer rating and cano uh, uh, stratification also says which is important which is less important like that okay so uh, this numbers will be used uh, to so i want to prioritize because voice is already prioritized by cano model i want to prioritize the ctqs also ctq1 ctq2 up to m ctqs uh, which is important which is not important so uh, when you see many of the uh, one voice is addressed by many ctqs uh, or maybe one voice is addressed by only one CTQs like that. Uh, that can happen. So that is that is also possible. One voice is addressed by many CTQs, okay, or many voices are addressed by one one single CTQs like that. That is also possible reverse way. But uh, the voice that is noted over here, uh, basically, what is important to the customer and CTQ is uh, those CTQs which are important and addressing the voice of the customer. 
ok. So, nothing is unimportant over here that is there is no redundancy over here ok. So, not on the CDQ, not on the VOC. So, uh, every voice should have a CDQ like that. So, that is what is emphasized over here and uh, then uh, 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 then this uh, what you see is that let us say the CDQ number 1, let us say consider the CDQ number 1 and uh, it is having a strong relationship with the first voice of the customer. So, voice of the customer 1 is having a CDQ with 1 is having a strong relationship that is uh, symbolically shown as delta over here ok, which is given a rating of 9 let us say which is given a score of 9. If it is strong we will say this is uh, about 9 we can think of a number which is arbitrary we can which is defined by the organization like that ok. And the rating that is given over here let us say customer average rating is 7 or approximately and this is an attractive feature and we, we are uh, giving a uh, rating cano rating of 4 over here. So, let us try to see how this calculation happens over here to calculate the CTQs over here. Also, the engineers will rate the CTQ in a scale like that. So, engineer has rated 10, he has given a score of uh, like this score is given in a scale of 1 to uh, 10 like that. So, it is given a score of 10 by the engineers for this CTQ over here. So, uh, then what happens is that for CTQ 1, uh, I have to calculate the total score of this. How do I calculate like that? For voice number 1, uh, the uh, weightage is approximately 7. So, 7 multiplied by and this is a strong relationship that we are seeing 7 multiplied by 9 uh, is the rating over here. Then, uh, then uh, for the CTQ I go column wise over here, there is uh, no other association between this CTQ 1 with any other voices over here. So, all other will be equals to, so all other will be equals to 0 over here. So, this will be continuing up to this n number of voices that you see over here. So, this will be continued and nth observation will also be 0 over here. So, in this case uh, and this will be, so summation of all of this will be uh, 763 over here and the importance rating is approximately equals to 10. So, this will be score will be around uh, 630 over here. For this CTQ, the overall score will come out to be uh, 630 over here. Similarly, for the um, second CTQ, for the second CTQ, CTQ number 2, what you can see is that uh, 7 will be multiplied. So, this is 7 rating for this voice of the customer and medium uh, relationship exists between this 7 multiplied by 6 and then uh, what we can do is that uh, this is easy to open is also related to CTQ, CTQ 2. So, in this case, uh, this will be uh, 3 multiplied by uh, uh, and this relationship medium is shown over here which is given a rating of 3. So, 3 multiplied by 3 like this and similarly uh, uh, third one what you see is that does not leak in rain over here. So, this is equals to what you are seeing is that uh, 3 rating is given over here. So, this is uh, 3 uh, multiplied by uh, 3 multiplied by. So, this will be uh, sorry, this will be. Uh, so, we will go back to this. So, this will be equals to 3 uh, multiplied by uh, strong relationship like this. So, this will continue like that and total summation uh, will be multiplied by importance weightage that is 6. So, this is this will be equals to 6 multiplied by uh, this. So, this to overall rating can come out let us say this, this is uh, some number over here which is uh, number uh, some number is coming out. So, we can calculate this one and we can say this is n 2 like this. So, this is n 1 over here. So, uh, we will get for every CTQ a number over here n 1, n 2 like this uh, n m. Uh, so, this is the total rating we, we can think of total total uh, uh, rating number what we are getting out of this for CTQ 1 and CTQ 2. Then what we can do is that from highest uh, to lowest we can arrange the CTQs and we will get we, which CTQ is getting the maximum maximum uh, ratings like that and uh, we can prioritize because if the CTQ is uh, more important that means more rating it is getting and so we, we need to concentrate on those CTQs and those CTQs should not fail because if that CTQ fails in that case voice of the customer will be uh, uh, will also fail. So, in that case that we have to keep in mind ok. So, this is the uh, overall uh, house of quality or uh, quality function deployment. It is done at the design stage, it is done at uh, production stage for any improvements we, we always uh, do this uh, QFD. So, QFD can be in shop load also. So, every time what is the CTQ and uh, what is the voices and conversion of this. So, uh, existing products and also for uh, uh, new products like that we, we can we, we need to do uh, this 
uh, QFD uh, analysis ok. So, that we understand where we stand as compared to our competitors like that. So, uh, there is no voice that will be noted over here that does not relate to any CTQs like that. So, there will be no CTQs which does not address any other voice. So, redundancy will be not be there. Now, uh, this ratings uh, that we are getting over here. So, this is 7 rating over here. So, again this can be multiplied with 4. So, overall importance matrix may be 7 multiplied by 4 which is coming from the Cano model like that. So, that importance can also be multiplied over here and then uh, summation of this will be multiplied with 7, 7 into 4. So, that uh, score can be taken into consideration. So, many of the uh, research articles also consider that Cano rating along with uh, customer rating can be multiplied together and that number will also uh, can be noted down and that overall rating can be given based on the uh, inclusion of this uh, Cano rating also. So, that is also possible and uh, uh, but all these things are uh, somewhat uh, uh, some numbers are arbitrary because 9 3 I can I can change this number over here. So, I can make it 6 3 1 like that. So, it depends on company what marks they are giving like that and uh, uh, that can influence that can that can totally dictate the scores like that, but more or less the analysis will be uh, yeah, it will it will reflect the same thing because if there is strong relationship it will, only the numbers will somewhat change and it will change for every every locations like that. So, strong, medium, small we can change the numbers, uh, but overall which CTQ is important which is not important will be always reflected because importancy uh, is given by the customer uh, and Cano importancy we know. So, that will be multiplied with the uh, uh, correlation uh, matrix that we are getting over here and based on that overall score will come. So, which CTQ is important that will not change basically uh, top priority CTQs will not change over here even if some number changes you are uh, here and there you are making. So, that will not impact the overall uh, importancy uh, of CTQs where uh, where every CTQ stands. So, that will not uh, change much ok. So, uh, this is what I was mentioning over here. So, Cano ratings uh, can be multiplied with the independent survey ratings like that and Cano can be taken as 4 uh, some of the authors have mentioned like that. So, if it is a basic requirements it can be given a rating of 1 because we are interested in attractive one dimension and basic. So, here we should not fail anywhere where we should not fail. So, ok. Uh, so, uh, reversible uh, we uh, reverse uh, we are not interested and we are indifferent also we are not interested because in the QFD we only uh, put attractive one dimensional and basic because that is the that is the core ok. So, that is the core and that will define the CTQs basically ok. So, uh, if it is uh, uh, indifferent that means that dimension is not so important we can we can also drop that from the design ok. So, uh, uh, that was we should not address uh, we are not concerned about addressing that one and reversal anyway they will not include in the design. So, so most of the time. So, uh, in that case uh, we are only interested in attractive one dimensional and basic. So, ratings can be 4 to 1 and that can be multiplied with the survey ratings in a scale of 1 to 1 to 10 like that. So, that I have shown earlier in the QFD matrix what we have drawn over here. So, this number 7 uh, this number 7 which is given by the uh, customer uh, is can be multiplied with 4 over here and then it will be multiplied with uh, or overall I can multiply increase the number over here. So, this will be 7 multiplied by 9 63 and this will be multiplied by 10 630, 630 can be multiplied with 4 because this is attractive uh, VOC. So, we can multiply again with 4. So, numbers will increase. So, uh, change in numbers will happen ok. So, I am giving some weightage to the Cano, Cano analysis also over here. So, uh, that is considered over here and that is what we can think of as Cano model that we can think of as Cano model in brief uh, idea that we are placing over here ok. So, uh, and more can be studied in books you can see books and there can be many other views like this ok. But overall idea is like that I want to relate the voice of the customer uh, with uh, CTQs like that ok. So, then CTQ has to be translated into products like that. So, how this is done in manufacturing like that. So, we will have uh, this is the diagram what we can use as a basis like that. So, there will be some inputs over here there will be some inputs uh, that will come in the process like that it can be sub assemblies it can be raw materials like that uh, it can be any other inputs like that. So, then uh, what will happen this is the process when it goes inside the process like that you can think of machines like that. So, whenever uh, the raw material is uh, in entering into the process or maybe a, a continuous manufacturing a steel industry there will be uh, inputs over here. So, uh, so, in that case uh, raw materials will be provided and the process will run or value addition will happen and then we will have uh, products as an output and products will have some characteristics uh, maybe strength or something other which is a CTQ basically. So, CTQ can be strength over here strength ok. 
So, C T Q can be any other dimensions over here strength elongation or any other parameters which is important to the customer basically. So, these are the CDQs uh, which is coming out of the process. So, product will come out then we will measure uh, in that product uh, these dimensions over here is the strength ok as per specification is, is it produced as per specification is the elongation ok as per dimensions like that what is given by the customer. So, uh, then we will do measurement and evaluation over here. And uh, accordingly what is coming out of the process uh, the CTQ dimensions what we are getting what we can do is that we can change the process settings like that. So, this is a controllable inputs uh, conditions or inputs or variables we can think of and these variables can be changed like knobs over here. So, uh, like in machine speed, feed, depth of cut this can be changed like that ok. So, uh, similarly there will be inputs in a process there will be out output will be uh, basically uh, quality characteristic what we are measuring what we are interested in that is the CTQ uh, what we will measure we will not measure everything like that. You go to inspection and you will find that they are not measuring everything they are measuring only CTQs like that which is important to the customer. If deviation from there happens then it will affect the customer it will not affect much if some radius is gone wrong or something like that in a product dimensions like that. Okay, but if the diameter has gone wrong, it will it will create problems. If surface finish has gone wrong, it will create problems like that. Okay, because it will impact the customer basically. Dissatisfaction will improve if if it fails in the dimensions what is provided by the customer. Okay, so customer wants this this dimension which is coming from the voice of the customer. So those are the CTQs which we are trying to emphasize over here, and those are the CTQs we will try to improve like that. Okay, so there will be some variables which are known as controllable variables over here and uh, this can be changed this is uh, in our hand basically this is in the hand of the uh, operator who is operating the machines like that. But there can be also uncontrollable variables over here uncontrollable variables what we are seeing over here or uneconomical to control or maybe unknown variables which which we are not able to locate like that which also influences raw material we can understand maybe supply to supply variation uh, also we can understand like that. But there may be hundreds of variables which which we have no ideas about in the process like that. So, that may be very minor effect uh, of that may be from previous process or any other any other thing we are not able to locate that one. So, those things uh, which has little impact or if it impacts uh, in that case we should be able to locate that one, but in case it is uh, we cannot do anything about that those are known as uncontrollable variables or it can also be somebody can say noise variables like that. So, the, their impact is very less like that. So, in that case uh, uh, we are not so much concerned, but uh, later on we will see that this also uh, needs to be considered in, uh, in uh, making a uh, product robust like that. So, in that case that that is also considered like. So, these variables are uneconomical to control and may be unknown no information is there about these variables and even if information is there we cannot do anything like that. So, these variables uh, we are not, uh, but if if we can control these things at least our output will be uh, within the specification or, or whatever is required like that. So, in presence of this uh, uh, variables which cannot be controlled which is known as uncontrollable variables uh, I need to set this machine over here with these parameters. So, that I get the y which is required which is close to the target over here which is close to the target that that uh, is our overall objective. So, CTQ idea of CTQ in a process we can think of like this there will be inputs there will be output a product is coming out, but we do not measure everything out of the product we only measure the CTQs which is important because CTQ will address the voice and then how to improve the CTQs in presence of uh, some variable which we have no uh, we have no ideas there can be sample to sample variation over here. So, everything is there and in that case we we have some control on some variables which is known as controllable variables and those things we will change in case there is deviation from the target values what is defined by the customer like that. We will measure and we will change the. So, at the start of the shift we will find that we this operators are changing the uh, knobs like that if you go to the process at the start they will see one product what is the outcome and then they will see they will make some changes and then they will. Uh, uh, do some twist and uh, turn the knobs like that or change the settings like that. So, this x 1 to x p what you are seeing is the controllable variables these are the critical x which you are which you are con concerned about and this is the critical y which we are concerned about. So, basically uh, if we know the functional relationship between x and y then that is the 
favorable situation so i i can i i know the relationship so in that case what to change the x so that i get the best y so but mentally sometimes shop floor operators you will find that they, they are doing it mentally basically okay they have something in mind so in that case uh, how this parameter influences how this x1 variable influences the process like that and how it influences y they have some ideas so which one to change which one not to change so uh, they have a strong idea about that so some uh, does not have qualifications to uh, understand optimization mathematical part of that but mentally they are doing calculation and with experience they have some idea about if i change this variable what will happen to the y like that so that is uh, uh, a inbuilt knowledge you can think of uh, which they have but overall this is the uh, process scenario what do you see so i want uh, i want the cdqs uh, to be to the target and uh, for that uh, what should be the setting that that is our overall goal in a in a, uh, in a process and uh, for that input conditions will change input will have variation and there will be some variables which we have no ideas like that but which have little impact like that okay uh, but that can be exploited also to understand the behavior of y like that so that we will uh, try to figure out in uh, uh, subsequent uh, subsequent lectures like that okay so this is all about uh, this is the cdq diagrams we can think of process diagram you can think of this is one process this is manufacturing process it can, you can think of service process also there will be some control variables there will be some uncontrollable uh, or noise variables like that there will be certain inputs and there will be certain cdqs which is required by the customer like that it can be uh, eight dimensions uh, in quality it can be five dimensions of quality uh, service quality like that so you can think of but we need to measure this one cdq whenever i have a cdq i have a dimensions to measure i have a specification spec to uh, that is given for this and then i measure this one and then what i can do is that i can check whether this within specification or whatever is the requirement of the customer and accordingly i will change the settings of these uh, variables uh, and uh, so that i get the best output like that okay so uh, that is the uh, idea what we are trying to emphasize over here now cdq can be strength like that what what i have mentioned earlier okay and uh, you may have done some basic course on statistics so uh, the process outputs that is coming out of the process uh, can be let us say 100 dimensions i have 100 100 products i have measured and i have measured the strength like that then i can plot that into uh, uh, diagrammatically i can represent that one so that is generally done so cdq is one of the this is a continuous variable so this is a continuous variable so and uh, this variable can be plotted uh, in a chart which is known as uh, histogram and uh, in basic statistics you will, you will you have already done that one uh, and plotting of that is frequency is plotted as compared to the dimensions like that so this will be the uh, ctqs uh, so which is the uh, y measurement that we are getting over here and this is the number of times it is uh, coming so that observation so 70 to 90 uh, if you can see the observations is around three observations are within this zone like that similarly 90 to 110 maybe uh, this is now four observations are within this like this this is the highest what we are seeing so maybe 22 observations are over here which lies in the range of 150 to 170 so this is the maximum frequency what you see so most of the observations are around 150 to 170 so this uh, plotting of the uh, data that is coming out of the process or cdqs uh, can be done using histogram if it is a continuous data type so this is the uh, this is one of the uh, thing that we can we can plot this one so now we are uh, just trying to see uh, understand and visualize the things like that what is coming out of the process can we measure that one and if we can measure that one can we see that one or visualize that one that is also important because uh, it is 100 times better one picture is 100 times better other than only seeing the data information because if i give you 1000 data points and you, ca you cannot visualize that one it is difficult to visualize in excel sheet if i give 100 data points like that so i need some visualizations tool so we are entering into that phase uh, where we will use this visualization tool so uh, in our session 4 what we will do is that we will start with visualization so we visualization of the data basically so quality talks about visualization of the data so more data you will have so data and interpretation it is not all about engineering it is now about how do we interpret the data how we based on the data what action we take so that is important in quality nowadays okay so uh, data will give you provide you information for decision making basically okay so uh, from engineering standpoint yes is required 
because you need to understand what specification is important, what is the CTQ, which CTQ is important that addresses the voice like that, that conversion is happening at the design phase. If the design phase goes wrong, everything goes wrong like that. But whenever I have a strong design, I know the CTQs and then I have to improve that one. So, in that case, what is required to be done that we have to do in the process like that. And then uh, what we what we see that quality of conformance, that is the second phase of uh, our discussion. So, quality of design and quality of conformance, are we adhering to the specification that is given by the designer for a specific CTQ, ok. So, that will be our agenda for our next session, session 4. So, we will continue from here, ok. So, uh, in session 4, we will start with visualization of the data. Thank you for listening, uh, meet you in the session 4.